Hi, I'm Mark. I'm here with Brett today. And today we're going to be temperature torture testing our DDR435. So we have the tools here. We've got a temperature gun, a hair dryer, or a heat gun, and a freeze spray. And we're going to temperature test our DDR435. So let's do it. Don't break anything. Absolutely. Here we go. So here if we run it at 2667. Just to get our data eye again. Okay, so there's our data eye. Room temperature, beautiful, nothing to worry about there. But as you said, let's, uh, let's have some fun with this guy. So I'll give you the uh, temperature gun. The temp gun. <clears throat> right, and let's I'll, get some freeze spray on there. And I'll, I'll see if we can freeze this a little bit. So we're find the temperature right now. Yeah. So right now, 22 cents Celsius, 22, 23. All right, go for it. All right, for our customers in Alaska. That looks pretty cold. Let's see, what do we got? I've got uh, minus 9, minus 10 C right now. All right, let's hit it just a little more. Let's see if we can get the laser right down in that hole. Minus 19. Uh, it's exceeded the low temperature range of the uh, thermometer here, so I think we're... All right, we're as low as we can, can measure. All right, so let's see what happens. Train. We'll get our data I. Okay, here's our data eye <clears throat> that we trained at cold. Now, we won't reset anything. We'll just heat things up. Okay. I knew you didn't bring that hair dryer for your hair, so. <laughs> Let's see if I can measure the temperature. All right, heating it up, 17 degrees, 18. Yeah, you're, you're over 85 right now. All right. 90, 92. Actually, you know what? Why not? You're we good. We good. We good. We're over 100 C right now. All right. Let's call it good. See okay. what happens. So now I'm gonna run in my running window the same exact test. It didn't retrain. Did not retrain. So we're gonna be seeing what the data eye looks like, what our center point looks like. <clears throat> Look at that. That looks rock solid. So. No retraining. So on the right side here, we had our initial training done cold, heated things up, didn't retrain, just recaptured our data eye and look at that. That's pretty awesome. That is awesome. I would have expected a lot more degradation of the data eye. That looks great. Yeah. Yeah. Some really quality IP under that hood there. Good. Yeah. So that concludes our demonstration of our DDR435 and our temperature torture test. We showed you how we have uh, the ability to train it cold and still get a wonderful data eye at hot without doing any kind of retraining whatsoever. Yeah, uh, that was interesting. I was uh, I was worried that the cold or the heat or the, the expansion or con the contraction was going to break something. It all worked fantastically. So thanks for showing us that. My pleasure. And uh, we invite you to look at some of our other videos. We've got a video on uh, uh, testing a whole bunch of different DIMMs, which are available, as well as manufacturing tests of this DDR435. And we invite you to look at all of our DesignWare videos at synopsis.com.